Containers in Elementor are like versatile boxes that organize the web content. They hold different elements such as text, images, and buttons. Unlike old sections and columns, containers offer more room for complex designs. So let's see how they compare. Earlier, we had sections, columns, and support for inner sections. These arrange themselves vertically, so adding an element to a section would stack above or below the existing elements. However, the fact that they were fixed limited creativity. But now we have containers. These let you group different elements as well as define how they align with each other, giving you much finer control over the layout. Okay, now that we know the benefits of using containers, let's explore how to set them up on our website. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because Okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. So containers can flow in any direction, both sideways and up and down. Horizontal containers allow you to arrange elements side by side and you can make designs like a featured product section where your top products are set right next to each other. Or you can also create a menu card for your website that can have a zoom and blur effect like this. Also, you can create even cool cards like this with a glow effect when you hover over the card. Now, if you want to know all about these designs, then make sure to check the description below where I link all the videos. On the other hand, vertical containers stack elements below each other. These are ideal for most content that flows vertically, such as blog posts or product listings. You can also create containers like these that stack vertically, showcasing different features or services of your brand. Remember, context matters. So choose the direction based on your design goals and the content you present to the viewer. Next, let us explore the different container types by width. First, we have box containers. These have defined width, creating a neat box around your content. They are perfect for your fixed sections like testimonials or call to action blocks. Then there are full width containers. These stretch across the entire viewport width, meaning the visible area of your web page. These are great for crafting hero sections, banners, or any content that screams attention. Now, if you look closely, you will see these metrics in drop down, and let me explain what each metric does. Pixels offer consistency for icons, images, and containers. Percentages are great for responsive padding. VH and VW relate to the viewport which is perfect for full screen elements. REM is ideal for font sizes and adapts to user settings. EM is based on parent font size, which ensures consistent line height proportions. So understanding when to use each unit helps create a responsive and user-friendly website. Drag and drop different widgets, place them next to each other the way you wish, and align or justify content as needed. Also, you can adjust the dimensions of a container or any other widget. Now, let's talk about spacing between elements. For this, we'll use the gaps feature from our container settings. It allows you to quickly add or remove space between widgets, ensuring a clean and smart layout for your web page, like this. But there's one issue getting our widgets to align in a single row. Let me show you what I mean. Luckily, the wrapping feature handles any content overflow with grace. It supports multi-row layouts without breaking the design. You can apply or omit the wrap depending on how you want your content to look across devices, in this case, on mobile. Lastly, you can play around with the nesting structure of your containers. For example, change the background to make your site stand out. And that finishes your Flexbox tutorial. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your size speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.